Hey, bud. They came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. <sighs> Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Hey everybody, welcome back to part 8 of Mafia Definitive Edition. Hey, Vinny. Tough day we gotta keep Tom. a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. There's something special here, if you want it. Sure, I want it. When Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. And there's something here. Well, it's not inside. Maybe other side. Nope. Oh, it's out here. Dime detective. Okay, let's get to Frankie. So much for the news. Hello, Biff. Tommy, what's the rumpus? 
Say something, Tommy. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Thank you, Biff. Let's go find Tony. Tony's the guy we want to see. Well, it's kind of annoying that I have to repeat the running button. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to check the horn button again. Oh man. Let's speed up a bit. It's kind of funny how the radio starts to drop off when you're in the tunnel. That's kind of nice. Some realism. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> he fell over. Everything okay, Tom? Go get him, boys. Hey, Tony. Nah, no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? I don't know, but we'll find out. Don't worry, Tony. I just heard a dog barking somewhere. I don't know what happened. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers. Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. They seem to have them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The hey, dude, what the fuck? Position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch. I'm driving here. The home of the Empire Bay cannons. Stay with us for more. The reason the racers of the Lost Heaven Grand Prix use only Trago motor oil, and that's because only Trago makes engines perform at their maximum while guarding against wear and tear. I'm really enjoying this side of the city. Apart from all the glitches and texture clips and slow loading textures and whatever, it's really nice. Our city's public service broadcaster is to serve you. Start your day with WLH 570.
Are we there yet? <laughs> gas leak. Gas leak in the Corleone Hotel. Yeah, sure, bro. Whatever you say. This is a nice neighborhood. Looks like the place. Oh, we're doing a stakeout. Oh, we got a meter. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be set to entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. Where are you going, Frank? Where are you leading us? Come on, Frank, show us. It's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancer's manager, Frankie Hodge, prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place, or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. Hey, it's a shantytown. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage it appeared doomed, but they equally right, teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down Sorry, to the Sorry, ma'am. I gotta go. Oh, I got too close, apparently. Gotta be some kind of neat happening. A look of stealing determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion. Doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series. Nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something. Come on, Frankie. What a strapping. Where are you leading us? If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Keep looking around and don't see the meter charging up. So if I get caught, it's my own fault. It's so cool how there is a different mechanic and sound when you drive over the cobblestones. Ah, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. Oh, that's a traffic light. I haven't seen those in ages. They're scarce in the town. Oh shit, Frank. Are you really trying to escape by airplane? After all the years the Don has kept you and protected you, you have betrayed him. You're a bad dog. You became old. You need to be put down, Frankie. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. 
Fuck, this ain't good. The thing is, Frank, or better yet, Salieri, isn't that big of a boss, so why all the fuss? What do I do? Oh, I can go around, maybe. Hello? Well, I gotta go this way. Let's sneak in. Why the feds take charge? I guess we all want the same thing. Informant handover. 1200. We shut down airport. 1300. Informant and FBI escort leave safe house. 1315 informant exchanged and taken to hangar 5 we get accounts book after informant handover oh my god frankie what did you do can't say i'm happy dealing with these people i got to get to hangar 5 can i get back out this way and jump ah uh, I gotta go through somehow. Maybe upstairs. The plane they're gonna use is done. Oh, there's somebody there. There's a window. Get nice. So Let's get it done quietly and go home. <laughs> Morello hasn't the honor to even show smokes. his face. For a rat like you? Nah. What do we do? Oh, we can't shoot him. Catch up to Frank. How the fuck am I supposed? Once Morello gives us the books, our accounting guys go through them with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, fine bar. Can take the vehicle. Hangar five. Oh shit. I think I angered everybody now. Shit. Oh, I lose a bullet from this. Crap. Come on. Oh, 
He burned himself. Beautiful. Whoa. Off, dude. Oh, I took him out. Nice. Come on. There we go. Shit. Can I run? Let's just get in. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Told him to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. You know, Tommy's been a really nice guy letting Frank go, letting the girl go, but beautiful. 
eventful day, huh? Uh-huh. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Yes, sir. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. I guess Frank was expecting us. It's nice of him to plan ahead. He was a smart man. and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. And that is it for part eight. I'll see you in the next one. Later.